recently did an SDG barometer for Belgium and one of the things we found is that a third of business in Belgium is not even aware of the SDGs or is aware but has no knowledge of them. Well, the port of Antwerp is one of the biggest ports in the world. Important cluster of maritime, logistic and industrial activities. And probably the most important growth engine of the country. We are also aware that we play an important role in the global supply chain. As a huge port, we indeed have a voice. We'll be able to set a scene in the field of the responsibility according to the Sustainable Development Goals, Sustainable Development, then other ports will say, OK, if Antwerp can do this, we have to think about it too. While efficient ports around the world are vital to the economic development of their surrounding areas, the related ship traffic, the handling of goods and the hinterland distribution can cause a number of negative environmental impacts. We are a community builder as a port authority, that's how we see, especially now, and, and that's quite different compared to the past. And so we want to be the one who is the liver of uh, sustainability and sustainable future for all the stakeholders, not only for ourselves, but for the whole platform. All our activities, you can cluster them and you can link them with the 17 SDGs. The port of Antwerp is growing. More and more companies are understanding the benefits of having a branch in the port area, taking advantage of its perfect inland location and growing infrastructure and facilities. The port of Antwerp brings together companies by clustering logistics, maritime and industrial activities. Mobility is an issue in the Antwerp region, but a lot of people have the perception that the port is, is causing a big part of this problem. We are one of the factors generating traffic, but we are not the only one. But the main challenge is the rail transport. Now only 6% of all containers go by rail, and our aim is to increase this to 15% in 2030. So this is a very important challenge. To improve the mobility, we try to work together with the city and the port. For example, the water bus, it was more for moving people to the city centre and now it continues to the north for port employees. It's a joint project that benefits both the port and the city itself. Well, I think here in Antwerp we are already interconnected, eh? we are clustered and, and this uh, means that we can really save a lot of energy, not only in our processes, but all the products we make. Our products, like example, light rate materials, uh, insulation, uh, can help really to save massive amounts of CO2 emissions in housing, transport and agriculture. But sustainability is not a buzzword for the chemical industry. It's, it's really high on our agenda uh, because we, we need to do it. Huh? We need to do it for our planet, but also for our own prosperity as companies and our own profit as companies. We want to be the leader in a sustainable chemical industry. And I think Belgium, uh, because of that we are situated here in the port of Antwerp, has huge advantage and a competitive advantage also to be one of the leaders in sustainable chemistry. Well, the port of Antwerp is in a very important strategic sector, the maritime and shipping and, and port sector, which accounts for 3% of global carbon emissions. And so with the climate crisis that we face and with the ambition that we have, the maritime industry and the port industry really has to play their part. I think Antwerp, if you look back at the past, they were confronted with opposition from environmentalists. As a result, as a response, they've invested quite heavily in those days in environmental management. They really bring the different elements together. I think people don't realize the shipping and ports industry is actually yeah, is almost dominating their lives because the clothes that you wear, products that you use, food that you're eating, well, there's a big chance that it has come to you via a ship and via a port. And that is the sort of story that we're often missing. The use of circular economy, the application of that, the use of hydrogen gas, that's something which is really one of our top priorities when it comes to further economical development. To communicate with stakeholders, with the people living around the port, what are the problems? So we monitor what is our impact on the environment, what is our impact on society. Here in Antwerp, chemical companies are strongly connected with each other. 
For example, waste streams of one production unit are used as raw material by another, and that's really putting the circular economy in practice. The port of Antwerp is growing and is set to achieve many milestones in the years to come. Through the utilisation of the port and the infrastructural facilities it offers, the port of Antwerp is thriving under their recent sustainable strategy. The winner of the Sustainability Award 2018 is CMB and they actually have created a small passenger vessel which goes on hydrogen. For us, we see that really as an alternative for the future when it comes to fossil fuels. And they show with this uh, vessel that it's possible to really have a uh, vessel going on an alternative for fossil fuels. Everything you do has to be sustainable. And I know it's difficult to know how this world will look like, but try to build things that are meaningful for the, our kids and the whole generations behind. And the best way to do things that are sustainable is to do this in partnerships. Sustainability for me is about how we thrive in the future, how we embrace a view of life that is interconnected. That's the only way that we change the story of sustainability. And unless we do that, we won't have the popular public support.